And that 16-inning game again on Sunday night, the number of times that both teams needed to lay down a bunt to advance a runner and could not was pathetic. There's no other way to put it. And in this day and age where exit, exit velocity means so much and everybody wants to hit a home run to the point where they don't care about getting the golden sombrero, don't care if you go one for five with four strikeouts as long as that one is a home run or some hit that goes so fast that my Major League Baseball app could tell me how, 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 how the velocity came off the bat, like I should care less. I don't care. You know what I care about? I care about watching a game when a fundamentally situation, a fundamentally sound situation comes up and a player executes it. Right? How especially when you look at when you look at football, I love I, you know, you could say what you will about the Patriots. They are fundamentally sound in virtually every situation. Every situation. And seeing uh, on that Saturday night a bunch of times where guys just could not get the bunt down because they don't do it anymore. It's not a necessary part of the game, especially since the Sabre metric says don't give up the out. But sometimes you should give up an out. Sometimes you need to get the runner over. And it shouldn't matter if you're if you're a slugger or you're somebody who who's, whose game should have it in them. And both teams couldn't do it. And then for baseball to say they want to speed up the pace of play – and then have a moment that was bizarre. Again, I've never seen it before when Matt Holliday is being forced on second on what appears to be one of those 3-6-3 double plays or 3-6-4 double plays or 3-6-1, whoever was trying to cover first when Jacoby Ellsbury's coming on down the line. But Matt Holliday's running back to first. It honestly looked like a play that you would see in a pony baseball league where like a 9-year-old or a 10-year-old doesn't realize, no, you're out, son. There's already a force out at second. got to leave the base pads. You're out. You're gone. Matt Holliday runs back to first, so it's strange. I'd never seen it before. I'm sure umpires in the, in the 11th inning of a long day hadn't seen it before. But you got to get together and figure this thing out quickly. And then just tell us at home what the hell you're looking at. What's wrong with that? It wound up being, I guess, baseball announces how long it takes between uh, a moment that you're reviewing something and then when the, the review is over. Uh, it was, according to baseball, somewhere in the four-minute neighborhood of the delay it really was 10 minutes long because it took them forever to try and de- determine that it should be reviewed. Right. And then they don't tell you what, what are you reviewing? If you're reviewing whether Matt holiday was interfering, that should have been a no brainer. I saw the replay three times. It's over. It's done. And just put a microphone on these umps. How difficult is it for them when they're, when they're running over to put the headsets on, to look at the replay and talk to whoever is sitting in New York city, flip a switch and say, the previous play is under review. We're reviewing whether the ba- the batter was out. We're reviewing whether the runner was out. We're reviewing whether the ball was fair. And then you come back and say, after further review, the play stands as called. After further review, the play is reversed. After further review, the play has been confirmed. So you are giving the viewer and the fan an idea what the hell is happening. Whether we saw enough video evidence to not overturn it or overturn it or we didn't see enough to do anything with it, it stands as called. How difficult is that? And that would have made the 10 minutes of my viewing experience not want my 10 minutes back. Imagine you're sitting in the stands for that long. It's fan-friendly stuff. And pace of play, you can't fix it. You can't fix it when it takes forever for a pitcher to throw the ball to home plate. It doesn't matter if you have a pitch clock when somebody's on base. That's the, the pitch clock rule is only when nobody's on, on base. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, download our app. Please, just if, if it's a memory thing, just delete other apps. You don't need those apps. This app, the Rich Eisen Show app, you need that.